Did Camilla throw hookup parties for Prince William once he uh, became married to Princess Catherine? That's what I want to know. Okay, so, cruising on the X, the Twitter. Will this name ever get settled? X, Twitter? I don't know. Anyhow, this was from Marchioness of Messington. I don't know who this is. I, I assume that, I don't know. I, I won't make any assumptions, but I just saw it and I thought, well, this is interesting. A former private secretary at Kensington Palace and confidant to the Lady Diana say in early days, Camilla never thought much of Kate because she was a commoner. After marriage, she encouraged Prince William to pursue affairs and even threw hookup parties for him. This was posted May 10th and I'm recording this May 13th. What? Did Camilla throw hookup parties for William? spicy. Of course, it's all alleged for entertainment purposes only, not fact. Psychic downloads my snarky opinion, and if you love the royal family, this is not the channel for you. Okay, did Camilla throw secret hookup parties for William? Come on, TikTok, get him. Stop, stop. <laughs> it's weird. <laughs> I'm beyond my accent being weird. That's weird. Okay. Oh, geez. Geez. Come on now. In the past. In the house. In, yes. Allegedly, yes, she is. I'm going to throw you a party back at the house in the castle. Down in the dungeon. You know, the dirty dungeon. <laughs> yeah. Keep it in the family. Um... I'll keep Kate busy. She's just a commoner. I'll keep her busy. Tell her she's got to go out and, you know, pick out her socks for the year or something. Yeah. Lord Almighty. Damn you, Camilla. You dirty scoundrel. Rough. Okay. Yeah, secret parties. Totes, for sure. Totes. I'm going with this 100%. Was there some love children born out of these um, hookup parties? Just saying. I'm thinking there's some secret hookup children. Some babies that were come to, well, at least maybe not come to be born, but some pregnancies definitely went on. So, yes. What in the world? Can, did uh, the Crypt Keeper Philip, did he have hookup parties for uh, Charles? Or, I don't know, maybe... Uh, Dicky Mountain Botton, maybe uh, Bouton, Batten. <laughs> One of you guys came up with or told me about the Dicky Mountain Bottom um, nickname. Anyhow, that one stuck in my mind. Um, so Camilla, she's throwing these knocking boots party for William. Did somebody throw knocking boots hookup parties for Charles back in the day? Once he married Diana? I can't imagine Camilla to allow that, but let's see. Hookup parties. God, can you imagine? Charles wouldn't have enough time to, between uh, being with Camilla, doing his uh, tampon duties over there. I mean, I don't know how he'd have time for a hookup party, but let's see. Did anybody throw hookup parties? Eight of Swords. <laughs> no. He wasn't allowed to have hookup parties. No, no. Future King's not allowed to have hookah parties. Once he's married to Diana. I, who knows if he had them before, but I doubt it. Uh-uh. No. That lion, that tiger in his pants was kept in there. So, no. that He was, like, strictly Camilla. Maybe occasional bump, 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 bump with Diana, but he didn't have hookah parties. All right, so Camilla's encouraging William to have affairs. Is Camilla currently encouraging William to have affairs? It looks like he probably doesn't need the encouragement, but let's just see. Allegedly. Come into the Moonlock Manor though. AliciaWicker.com. You get access to readings like these ahead of time and other ones I can't show on TV with you. All right. See it from a new perspective, darling. You deserve some fun. You've been doing all these things. Oh, God. Put your tatas away, lady. 
get me in trouble at two with you. Um, you've got the weight of the world upon your shoulders. I know, I don't know where this accent is coming from, so don't at me. You're going to be the king soon. you got a lot of things on your mind. You're worrying too much. Go have a roll in the hay. Stop having babies, though. Stop knocking up the bitches. Hmm. So she's still encouraging it. There's something here about... Stop knocking up the bitches. How many love children does he have out there? Allegedly. Yeah, there's something about like, almost like Camilla's saying like, yes, go out, have affairs, go knocking boots all over town, whatever, right? Uh, but there's this idea of like, don't do it that much, like, or like, don't do too many people. You can't make the circle too big. That's the downfall. You can't be knocking boots with everybody you meet. <laughs> you can only knock boots with, like, keep your circle tight. We can't be paying off women left, right, and center, okay? Okay. Now, I know there's a rumor. It's a rumor, darling. I don't know. That, um... William perhaps might like the company of men as well. I don't know, but I thought, let's see. Because that's a rumor that's out there, that William perhaps likes the company of men. And there's been rumors of many a uh, person in the royal family who likes to have relationships with their own gender. Fine, but I'm just curious about William. Does William like to hang out at the men's club maybe do a little bit more than hanging out at the men's club let's just see uh, oh oh Okay. Yeah. I'm going to say allegedly. Entertainment purposes only. Um, on occasion, there could be some um, sword fighting and um, stuff happening. Yes. Um, this is the whole thing. Okay, so this is what, when I was getting before where Camilla's like, Keep your circle small. People talk. And we don't have enough money to be paying off all your lovers. Either way. Um, there's, it's not just, we're, there's a lot of stories to have to pay off. I don't know if some time, at some point, he was going hog wild and sticking his wand and everything or whatever. Um, but this was like, Hanging out with the ladies, hanging out with the men's, putting that wand all over the town, and um, kind of got sloppy with some of the um, affairs he was having, okay? And so this is kind of like, we cannot be paying all these people all over town, okay? You need to be a little bit more discreet with it. Like, yes, please have affairs, but, you know, pick your top five or something. Remember that on MySpace? I know, hashtag old, where you would have, like, your top friends that you put... <coughs> That's what you know, Camilla's saying, like, have your top friends, you know, you go have fun with. All right. So Camilla never thought much of Kate. Camilla encouraged William to have affairs. Did Camilla ever encourage Harry to have affairs? I don't, I don't think they really got along. I didn't. Well, back in the day, who knows? Let's just ask. I don't know. Did Camilla ever encourage Harry to have affairs? Um... Do, 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 do. You can join in the parties too. Come on down. Yes. I'm your favorite stepmom. Come. There's debauchery in the dungeon. Come along, fellows. Uh, yeah, okay. So she did. She encouraged him to party too. Yeah. Um. 
something it, yeah she was um at some point though it looks like he's harry's not getting invited anymore i don't know maybe he's doing his own partying but she did encourage him to come down and party too and i don't know she's trying to win favor somehow something some way um this feels very much like so she also has blackmail power over the future king and the dim-witted ginger black mouth black male whatever you know what let's get out hold on yeah, okay i'm back did you miss me let's look in let's use the it's upside down dark mirror oracle what did i do that for okay dark mirror oracle what's the energy behind camilla encouraging the boys to have this knocking boots party it can't just be because kate's a commoner apparently i think she wants more information but let's see camilla Oh, a bride in a cage. Um, okay, so there's Camilla. She's the bride in the cage, the soon-to-be queen consort, but they all call her a queen anyway. Um, she's a schemer, man. She schemes long-term, right? And we got that before. Like, she was doing the long plot with the uh, waiting for Diana to get out of there. Um, but yeah, she's peaceful among the thorns. It's almost like she knows how to, uh, you know, those like, I don't, you've seen them in movies where it's like someone goes into a room and there's all these laser beams, right? And the person has to go under and around and try and get through these laser beams. That's how she is. She, she's like, weaving around she's very snaky a temple of my body what hmm perchance to dream and is this me oh i think it is i think it is camilla i think it is you but i do want mildred Payne over here for some clarification. I was just looking at these hands here in the temple of my body. Doesn't that remind you of the, the AI Kate photo? <laughs> All the weird gingers. I'm just saying. Anybody else say call them fingers gingers? I don't know. Okay. The eye and the octopus. She's entangled in a lot of drama rama. She will set up stuff if she needs to. She gets right in the smack dab of middle of shit. She's a pot stirrer deluxe. She's got her gingers in all the pots. Okay, because she is doing so. She's encouraged William and Harry. Go ahead, come on home, and have some, you know, Caligula type times in the dungeon, right? Because she she makes it so they cannot resist it. It's enchanted, like, oh, like they have to, right? And then she's like keeping it and filing it away and documenting it. And I wouldn't even doubt like she's a, a Diddy video camera person, right? Like she's like, oh, I've installed cameras in the dungeon. To, ha, 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 right? The temple of my body. There's a door. <clears throat> okay. The temple of my body is this dungeon or whatever place she set up for them to come and do things she set it up like like she's a ditty right she's recorded that's the temple of her body because her power comes from keeping the information of people in their bad acts so she can use it against them for blackmail perchance to dream she can wait a long ass time she can wait a long ass time to get what she wants i don't know if she thinks she's just gonna like i don't know if she had some vision that somehow, some magical way that she was just going to be queen by herself. Almost like that's how she strategized. Maybe power 
queen over Charles because he's weak. And I guess in that way, maybe. Is this me? Sage in a ladder. She quit. She doesn't ruminate on anything or dwell on it for too long and just like, gosh, that was a terrible thing to do. Nope. She's like, erase, erase, erase. And then she moves on to the next thing and she thinks about her next time she's going to go through this entire cycle again, whether it's having these parties for um, the boys, men, whatever, or if she's thinking about what scheme she's playing on somebody else. Holy hell. My goodness, Camilla, you are a sneaky, sneaky snacker in the highest degree. Whew. Okay. Does Charles know? He has to know. He has to know, right? Does Charles know what Camilla's been doing and blackmailing his kids? And his kids. You can go back to the, like, My Two Dads or whatever I titled that. It's in a Royals playlist. Anyway, Chuck know that Camilla's been setting up these parties with getting blackmail evidence against the heir and the spare. Oh, fuck. There it is again. Do, 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 do. He knows. He knows. She's like, here, you want to watch? You should see this silly thing that your son does. I'm good. I don't want to watch that, but I trust you got it. This is so they have PR stories to go against William or uh, Harry in the future. So yeah, they know they have. He knows. Charles knows that Camilla has this shit. He doesn't want to watch it, but he knows that it's there. And then Camilla's ready to leak it um, in the media or wherever for whatever they need to leak it for. This is why I question why anyone worships these stupid royals. Oh, the, I love them so much. Okay. Friends like that. Anyhow, thank you for watching. Join me in the Moon Moth Manor if you haven't yet. And um, you can do that at AliciaWicker.com. And until next time, adios.